I built this mudroom in three hours with four basic tools and you can too. This all started with a Pinterest picture as many home projects do. My wife wanted a mudroom for the entryway, so here we go. This is a cabinet style table saw, but you can just as easily use a job site style saw or a skill saw. There you saw a chop saw and here's a nailer. Very basic tools. You can pick them up secondhand off a of marketplace or at a pawn shop uh, and they aren't that expensive to buy new either. The other thing to note is while I am cutting a lot of this stuff to size, it's because I had the material laying around. You can just as easily buy the correct size material from the big box stores so you don't have to do as much work. One last thing I want to point out, in the background you'll see a dry erase board. There I have drawn out exactly what I'm wanting to build and going into it with the plan so I know exactly what to do and how to do it. I highly recommend doing this. Here is the lower carcass coming together, and as I mentioned, everything was already measured out, so all I had to do was look at the board, cut everything to size, and nail it together. So I'll talk a little bit about how I plan for this sort of thing. Obviously, the project has already decided for me, thanks to my wife, so there's really not much to discuss there. But as far as building dimensions and whatnot, what I'll do is I will figure out where the piece needs to go, measure the area, and then figure out what size everything needs to be from there. I'll transfer all that to my dry erase board, figure the dimensions out, and start my work from there. Obviously, you don't have to use a dry erase board, a pad and paper will work just fine as well, but that's just what I have laying around. Next, as far as material choice goes, again, I've mentioned I'm using materials that are left over. This is mostly all maple, with the exception of the top, which was a leftover piece of red oak. If you're deciding what to use, um, the cheapest options are MDF, but I'd prefer to stay away from that because it swells if it gets wet. The next cheapest is pine. Uh, pine works okay, but it can bleed through your paint if you use a lighter paint. Uh, sometimes priming helps, but not always. This is maple. Uh, maple is very expensive as far as cost goes, but is a much more robust product. It is a harder wood and it won't bleed through and gives you a, a much better quality. If you're not sure what to use, you can look up a local hardwood supplier and go talk to them and they will guide you through the process of material selection. One other thing to mention is safety equipment. I'm wearing a dust mask here because I have terrible asthma, uh, the ISO tunes for hearing protection, which are amazing, and also eye protection because you never know when something's gonna fly into your eyes. This last step coming up is optional. These square edges are kind of boring, so I have a cheap Harbor Freight palm router with a chamfer bit, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of a chamfer on the edges just as a little bit of a detail. Here's a test fit. Today, we're gonna drag it outside, paint it, and put it back in place. Thanks for watching.